awesome. Salam alaikum, Daud. Thank you very much. It's Daud, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like speechless. Hi. Thanks, Thank man, you. for being uh, here. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting. Wow. It took so much energy that just, Dawood is now sweating all I over. I was just wondering, maybe he got the muscle from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Wow. So, that was a beautiful performance. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, crazy. please welcome the former Debut Music Group member and Darbuka player, Dawood Abdullah. Abdullah. Ooh, so, Dawood. Not former. Oh, still. 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 Okay, I'm sorry for that. No problem. No I'm problem. sorry for that. So, um, Dawood, thank you for coming thank to you. our studio. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, wow. So, first of all, before we, we ask a further... Yeah. What is Darbuka? Darbuka is this beautiful instrument here. It's one of the oldest percussion instruments, one of the oldest instruments, musical instruments in the world is the Darbuka. Mm. So, uh, what does it come from? Uh, all the countries in the Middle East have it as their traditional instrument. Oh. They have different names, but mm -hmm. they all have it. So, I'm not exactly sure where it comes from, but this one right here is from a German company called Maino Percussion. <laughs> even from, from, even from, from a German company. <laughs> yeah, original from the Middle East. But in the Middle East, yeah, they have it in, I thought it's in a... Turkey, in Egypt. In, oh, it looks like uh, Tabla. I thought the name yeah, is Tabla, not Tabla. In Dabuka. Egypt, they call it Tabla. In ah. Egypt. So in different countries, it's the same instrument, mm -hmm. different techniques, mm. but the instrument is the same and they have different names for it. Oh, okay. So it's Tabla, oh. Darbuka, Darbake, Dumbuk. Whoa. Uh, Tempo. Well, also, yeah. also in the Pakistan, they call it tabla. Ah. Tabla, no, tabla is in that, Pakistan is a different, it's a different, different thing. thing. Yeah, different instrument. Oh. You have is two drums like oh, that. Oh, that yeah, that yeah. tabla. Oh, I heard there's one in Indonesia in Sulawesi. Is it mm -hmm. the same? Different? Uh, have you heard of it? No, not. Uh, they they have one in not Sulawesi in Ambon and Papua. It's mm -hmm. called oh. tifa. Tifa. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. similar shape but different technique. Yeah. Okay, well. We may as well do this conversation in Indonesian because I heard his Indonesian <laughs> was flawless. Yo, his Indonesian is flawless. <laughs> yeah, so you guys I speak agree. English very well. <laughs> no, but but how? When when did you start your interest in in darbuka and playing it and how you learned to play it? Originally, when in when in my family, my Dubu is a family. Most of us are are brothers and sisters. Mm. Uh, one day, my father bought a bunch of instruments mm. and said we're going to start playing music. So we're just like, like that? Yeah, we were like, just you, like that. you're going to send us to, like, to have lessons? He's like, no, you just start playing. <laughs> so originally we all, he's like, but, just play it every day, you'll figure it out. But this one is very much close to the Sufi sort of like. Yeah, yeah, music. our father was a, a Sufi sheikh from wow. four tariqas, four different uh, ways, but they're all the same teaching, same mm. intinya sama. Uh, the, mm. same the same root, essence, sort of. yeah. The same, same essence. essence. So, um, you were mentioning about your dad bought like a, a bunch of instruments mm. and just throw it in front of you guys, the <laughs> children. Yeah, originally, this wasn't my first instrument. Exactly. Yeah. So, what made you oh. fall in love with the darabuka? <laughs> so, what was your first instrument? You can express my everything. First, my first it's instrument the was uh, the oud. It's like the a, oud. a yeah. guitar, Arab guitar. Oh, yeah. It's a round, mm -hmm. round gambus, they call it in yeah. Indonesian. That was my first instrument and I was playing that for like two years, I think. And then one day my father came out when we were having practice and he said, Daud, you and my other friend that was there, he was playing the darbuka. He said, you and Lukman trade instruments. I said, for this song? He's like, no, I want For the whole play. thing. Yeah, I want, I was so angry, I was so sad. I couldn't, I, I didn't want to do it. And I, he said, do what I say or go. It's oh. my way or the highway. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so I, I, every day I started practicing, it was so, so difficult for me to switch, comprehend or anything oh. because I was so into melody. I loved yeah, melody. Yeah. I, didn't love, I didn't like rhythm at all. I had no rhythm. Mm. So my brother, my older brother, the vocalist in the boo, his name is Mustafa, he was one of the first people who started teaching me. He was like very patient with me because I couldn't deal with it. He's like, just hit one, two, three, Four, just on one and oh, three, wow. so and it could not get start, in my head. I could not do that. One, because two, three, three four. four. It's so in the easy, in between. right? Yeah. But, but I couldn't do that for like yeah. weeks. It, it weeks? Did, yes, it didn't go in my head. I was crying. I was frustrated. It didn't. Probably but, because okay. probably because, because he was upset. Because, yeah, no, because, because he I didn't to want to do it. Melody. He didn't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, it, used to be the main reason the is because I didn't want to do it. Yeah. But because my father told me to, so I said, so I was doing what he said. After 
I don't know how long I was playing, maybe three, or, three years or something, mm -hmm. I started to, to feel like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. And it was before like internet and stuff, so, mm -hmm. so I couldn't like learn online. And there was no Darbuka teachers in Indonesia. In Indonesia, they had this instrument, but their style of playing, they didn't know the technique. And yeah. their style was more like Yemeni uh, traditional style, which okay. is not like for solo like this. They didn't mm -hmm. have that at all, zero. So, so how did you learn? Yeah, how did you learn? And where did you learn? Originally, it was with my brother Mustafa, and then also my brother Salim. He also uh, was crazy on Darbuka. So I learned a lot from both of them. And then we had some shows in Turkey. We used to go to Turkey every Ramadan before mm. for shows. And every time we went to Turkey, I would meet with some of the local musicians there. Mm -hmm. And anytime we had free time, I would go to their apartment and just learn with them and then come back to Indonesia. And that's, we started a, a community and then, yeah, we just started. So playing. certainly, yeah. Ud is no longer your love, now Darbuka <laughs> it is. But, you know, when I heard you play, uh, you used different techniques, like you used the, the edges of it and yeah. then the center of it and then sort of the, like, not close to the center, but close to the edges. So uh, yeah, those are... Probably, uh, I, I, I reckon that you were playing with your pinky fingers. Yeah, your you pinky can. fingers at the edge of the yeah, Darbuka. And, I mean, how, how do you produce different sounds using that one instrument? It's like a, like a language. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's exactly like learning a language, except you're speaking with your hands. Mm. So the tones that, for example, when you think of a baby or even a, an adult learning a new language, you try to learn how to pronounce the certain letters or certain words. Yeah. There. It's the same, like they have the low and then the tech and the slap and make sure all these tones are clear and then like depending on where your hand is here you can change the tone that's what i was talking about and then you yeah. can sort of like hold the the, yeah. the whole uh, surface to have a like muted sort of like a muted sound it, it, yeah it's a muted it, the, and so there's so many different styles and you have to be able you have to get all the tones first so you can speak clearly Oh my God, okay, that's the analogy. Okay, guys. <laughs> and, and when you're speaking, you have to do it uh, full of charisma because no one's gonna wanna hear what you have to say. Yeah. If you see someone on stage that's talking and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's like on the edge of their seat listening. Yeah. Yes. But if the guy's up on stage, like, you know, we gotta do like this, no one's gonna even yeah. pay attention. Oh, I love it's how you put it that way. Yeah. Now, now you are speaking our language. He <laughs> communicates with everyone yeah. through that instrument. You can just hit, just hit it like, for example, sometimes when I start the show, if I see people aren't really there paying attention yet, I'll go like, and then everyone's there. like, whoa, that's just like, assalamualaikum <laughs> alaikum Everyone's like, whoa, what's this guy of screaming course. about? Of course, that's who such wouldn't? an opener. Who wouldn't? Who, who wouldn't, wouldn't just yeah. stop on whatever they're doing at that moment? <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> I know, yeah. but now you have a Darbuka community here in Indonesia. Yeah, it's called Serikat Darbuka Indonesia. Serikat Darbuka Indonesia. And so many people enjoyed um, and joined yeah, it already? It's the biggest Darbuka community in the world. Oh, wait, 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 wait. In the world? Yeah. In the world. How many members? Uh, we have a, like around, approximately around 7,000, between seven and 10,000. And all across Indonesia? Yeah. Across the world as well? Uh, uh, Serikat Darbuka Indonesia is just Indonesia, ah, but Darbuka. we have what we call a Darbuka Anthem. Mm -hmm. It's what like uh, all of us learn, we play it. And no matter where, for example, if I have a show anywhere in Indonesia, I'll just let the community there know uh -huh. when and where. And then if they want to perform with me, we can play this Darbuka Anthem together without even practicing or anything. Wow. So all instrumental, no? Yeah, like, it's all Darbuka. All Darbuka. Wow. That's amazing. So um, now that you have a community, the biggest in the world, seven to 10,000 people in the it community. might be even more than that now. Probably yeah. even more than that. <laughs> they take a note on that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> when it comes to the public outside of your community, how enthusiastic were the public to listen or maybe even learn about Darbuka? Because I, I can tell for myself, I can speak for myself, listening to those beats, I got crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what, uh, what, what we're trying to, to do with the Darbuka is, like I can see how I can switch the mood in a room in, not just mm. in a room, anywhere mm. I go, with, even if I don't speak the language of the place. Mm. I can, I, I've done it like countless times where I just go with my darbuka and like someone is like 
having a bad day or they, they, they mm. have, you can feel they're, they're like feeling low or something. Mm. You go, just go up to them and start playing like. <laughs> and they just go, woo! <laughs> <they're>, yeah! <laughs> Mood lifting. Of course. Yeah, it changes the vibes like so Amazing. easily. So do they have like different materials for each darbuka? Yeah. This, you said this one is made in Germany. Yeah. What about they have, darbuka? They, they have, Indonesia actually makes, some, makes good darbukas now as well through, through our community. We have many good darbuka makers here. This, I'm sponsored by this brand, so that's why I'm using this one. Mm. And it's also, it's a really good uh, percussion brand and they're internationally uh, known. So yeah, that's good. But. They have the traditional darbukas from Egypt. Usually have like inlay. Uh, yeah, wood. Like, no. Uh, uh, pearl. Pearl, mother yeah, pearl yeah. inlay. Whoa, yeah, really? Yeah. Pearl. Beautiful. So uh, yeah, I mean, I imagine like you're in Egypt right now. Hearing that uh, kind of music usually with a Sufi dance, sir, well, or actually, the belly dance. <laughs> yes, darbuka yeah. in Middle East is, is more uh, known with belly dance. Mm. In Indonesia it's more known with salawat and majlis, these, these uh, salawat, uh, what is it called? The rabana and stuff oh, like that. Oh yeah, yeah. They use the darbuka now mm. and there are many the famous darbuka players in Indonesia, they play like with hadra groups and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which in, in the Middle East, darbuka is not necessarily used it can be, but it's not very often used it, like for religious music. For religious purposes. But here in Indonesia, it very, very yeah, much. It's more for tarika and dances and music yeah, and performances. Yeah. Mm. All right, so we're still going to continue chatting with yes. you, Daud Abdullah. But we're going to go for a break right now. Stay tuned for more Darbuka sounds. <laughs> and we'll also play a game. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>